President Guterres, you've, you've said this in every forum before President Emmanuel Macron with Ursula von der Leyen, with every major leader from the global north. Do you feel like you're getting hurt? They are listening. I can tell you they are listening. I can bet you they are listening. The conversation about reform of the international financial system was in Mamas a few years ago. Today, it is being talked by no less than the President of the United States. He, they have come to the realization that it is no longer possible to run the system the way it has been run. So everybody is reasoning what is now remaining is the how. And we, we are going to show them the how. Yes, sir, Mr. Diab. The continent is rich in resources around agriculture. What I would tell investors who are listening to me is that in Africa, you have an opportunity. We have good soils. You can deploy surface water by harvesting dams and, and, uh, and, 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 and infrastructure that can harvest water. You have underground water and you have a ready market for the product that you will be producing. So there is an opportunity for a win-win. We're looking for food for our people. You're looking for a return on your investment and that we can meet halfway. So I think we can structure a win-win engagement. And uh, the, the other instrument we are deploying this time around in Kenya is a private-public partnership instrument that ensures that public and private can work together. And investment can be secured by having public partners, and we can all work together to make sure that agriculture finally unlocks the potential that we have in, Afri in, in Africa. And to move it to the next level where we use agricultural produce for value addition, for uh, agro-processing, and create opportunities for jobs, for value addition, and for wealth creation. That's the whole trajectory. And I was happy to hear my good brother talk about special economic zones. These are the areas that we are going, we are, we are, we are going to use to create ecosystems that create better opportunities for investors who want to use our resources for export market. So we, we, are, we are clear on the kind of instruments that we need to deploy in our export promotion centers, export promotion zones, and we are working with Afri Exim Bank, we are working with other uh, development partners to see how that can be made available for investors so that you're not just looking at the Kenyan market if you are in Kenya, you're looking at the East African market because we have the instruments under EAC, you're looking at the African market because we have the Africa Continental Free Trade Area, and you are looking globally because the export processing zone infrastructure enables you to export beyond uh, the borders of our country and continent. We have already negotiated favorable uh, instruments like AGOA, like what Kenya is negotiating, negotiating with the US today, the uh, uh, strategic investment and trade uh, 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 project, where we are going to make it easier for you, working with other countries, to export your products from Kenya duty free, water free into external markets. So we are configuring all that so that we can make it much more bankable for you to invest in our continent. And just to confirm what Adesina is saying, it is in bold print yes. in the Nairobi Declaration, exactly, exactly what she has said. Yeah. Revaluing our assets so that we are valued for what we are worth, not what people think that we are worth. Right. And, right. and, and, and just two, two final things. Very fundamentally, listening to Adesina, I had a meeting with Kristalina, I had a meeting with Banka. The MDBs can resolve this. What is lacking is goodwill, political will. But it starts with us. The people in the African continent, we need to speak with one voice, and we don't need to speak in mamas, and we don't need to speak in low tones. We need to speak 
loudly yeah. about what our situation is. Wow. It is possible for us for, to elongate, uh, to create longer tenure uh, uh, sovereign debt facility. It, it doesn't require rocket science. And it can be done now. Uh, grace period can be done now. SDRs, they were created for uh, 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 the, 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 the pandemic. Why isn't it possible for us to create SDRs for climate action? It, it is an existential threat facing humanity. The, 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 the economy, the two economies that are about to go uh, down the debt distress, isn't that serious enough for us to think about this? So the solutions are there. The MDBs can do this. And that is why we are unrelenting until it is done. And I like what my sister here said, that as much as we are talking about the credit rating agencies and risk analysis, you're right. We don't want to be def them to be defensive. We need to be defensive because they know what we are saying is right. Exactly. They, they know, they know we, are, we, are, we are talking the truth. And they know that the, 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 the whole algorithm around these credit rating uh, issues is not fair. And all we are saying, good people, is it too much to ask for fairness? I mean, really, that is the basic minimum. That's what we are saying. We just want a fair system that serves everybody equally. We do not want to be treated unfairly. We do not want to be rated unfairly. We just want to be rated for who we are and what we are worth. And President Ruto, you've, you've said this in every forum before President Emmanuel Macron with uh, Slavon de Lyon, with every major leader from the global north. Do you feel like you're getting hurt? They are listening. I can tell you they are listening. <laughs> I can bet you I, 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 they yeah. are listening. The conversation about reform of the international financial system was in Mamas a few years ago. Today, it is being talked by no less than the President of the United States. He, they have come to the realization that it is no longer possible to run the system the way it has been run. So everybody is reasoning what is now remaining is the how. And we, we are going to show them the how. Yes, sir. Mr. Diab.